Hey all, Blake here with another video and I've got a really exciting unboxing today. I haven't done an unboxing for a while so I'm quite keen to jump into this one and as with all live fish deliveries we try and do them as soon as possible just because the fish have been through enough stress. So let's not dilly dally, let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so this is a box from sevenfishes.com.au, a really great um, Australian supplier of uh, some really nice bedders, including wild bedders. What I really like about the website is that they do what you see is what you get. So they have individual photos of a lot of the bedders, a huge range, and they've also started to introduce things like epistogrammas, catfish, shrimp, and all sorts of goodies. So yeah, I really like the site and I can't uh, help myself. Every time I just have a sneaky look at the website, I end up ordering stuff. So, so I like to be transparent with you guys and I will say up front that uh, I paid for four out of the six of these fish. I'll tell you the story about um, the ones that I didn't pay for as we get through. But um, I placed the order without any intention of getting anything for free. Originally this order started because I was contemplating getting some better maha chai. I noticed on the website that they only had males and I just asked when they were looking at getting any females. And in the time that it um, took to respond, which wasn't long at all, an hour or two, um, they did get back to me and said, you know, they're, they're looking at getting some more and they've had a bit of trouble, which is, perf which is very common um, during COVID. And I said, well, too late. I already ordered um, four betters. So I'm really excited about that. And um, would you mind me doing a video? Now they were really stoked that I wasn't sort of, you know, reaching out for free stuff or anything. And I was just genuinely looking to pick up some really nice betters, which is the truth. You guys know that I kind of help myself when it comes to these things. So they said, you know, we like the way you go about it and we like the channel. So um, we'd like to also throw in a pair of wild betters. I said, what sort of responsible fish hoarder would I be if I said no? So um, thanks a lot to the guys over at Seven Fishes for donating me this pair and uh, I'm really, really excited by it. So let's take a look. We'll flip the lid and have a look at what we've got here. So as we open up here, I haven't completely cut it. All right, all right. So let's have a look ski. So we can get rid of our little phone box here. Really convenient to hold on to those, by the way. I'm just gonna get all the individual bags out, make sure that everyone's happy, nobody's squished or anything like that. And we'll talk about them as we go through. So the easiest way to summarize this, I guess, is we've got three pairs of bedders here, two giants, two wilds, and two normal bedders. So this one here is one of the wilds that they graciously donated me. So this one here is the better Chenoides. Really, really exciting. I've wanted these guys for a long time. So I'm really super excited about the Chinoides there. What we'll do is we will stick them uh, in that aquarium right there. So we've got a little female Chinoides in there as well. So super, super stoked about that. Hopefully we can get those guys breeding, park them there so they can warm up. There's just an aquarium right there. So I've just started floating them immediately. Now we've got four, um, basically koi or marbled bedders here, because I really like that variant. They're pretty much my favorite type of better. And um, despite uh, trying to breed them in the past, I didn't have a heap of luck. Now I've changed my tack towards um, picking these guys up. So what I had before was some koi half moon, half moon placard bedders. And what I've decided to go with here is actually koi um, delta tails, double tails, or half moons. Now, what I wanted is bigger finnage to slow the males down because they kept attacking the females so much that breeding wasn't successful. So what we have here is a really, really nice, uh, I think double tail koi with a great yellow tone through it. So he's a fantastic male there. And then he has a little girlfriend over here and she looks absolutely stunning. So a nice little yellow um, koi or marbled, uh, sort of long fin half moon uh, female. Now these two guys here are the same sort of koi slash marbled, but you will notice a slight difference. It might become a bit more evident when I show you the B-roll. But these guys here are actually giant bedders. And these guys, I didn't realize that um, giant bedders were that much bigger than normal bedders. I kind of thought like, oh, if you get a slightly bigger better, they call it a giant. 
but giant bedders can actually get up to four times the size of an ordinary better. So I'm super excited to have a couple of supersized koi betters that we can hopefully uh, see if they're compatible and um, potentially make some more. So now that I've got those guys temperature acclimating, let's just go and talk about what's the go with the bags. You might notice they're a bit blue. So the um, supplier 7fishes.com today has probably put some sort of medication in the bag to make sure their fins aren't gonna be sort of nipped and damaged during transit. Most likely it contains something like methylene blue, which is gonna give it that blue tint. I have to say that um, the betters were packed pretty well. I was pretty happy with that. There wasn't too much movement. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to um, get these guys acclimated in, into tanks. So what I'm gonna do now, float the bags in the aquarium so they can come up to temperature. In about 20 or 30 minutes, what I'm gonna do is cut the tops off and dump them straight into a net. We'll drain all that water out because as soon as it comes into oxygen, what happens is the pH basically crashes when all that ammonia reacts with the oxygen from the atmosphere, which is really bad for your fish. So um, what I'm gonna do is first of all, find some real estate for these guys, but I have some things in mind. We'll get them acclimated and we'll add them to the tanks and we'll take a closer look. So um, hopefully you look forward to that. Okay, so here they are. It's actually the next day and they're all settled in. And as you can see, they're looking super vibrant. But before we get too excited, I just do just wanna make a couple of corrections. I am a little bit silly sometimes and I forget uh, what I ordered. So this one here I actually said was the giant better, but it's not the giant better. This one here is called a candy delta tail male and here we have the female which is a nemo half moon female so i'm absolutely certain while i was doing that unboxing better purists were out there yelling through their computer screens so i apologize for that but yes beautiful little uh, nemo half moon female and candy delta tail male as you can see, I've got them straight into this tank, which I intend to breed them into. I'm conditioning them up nicely. I've got a net breeder box separating them. Indian almond leaf in there, um, basically for some tannins and for those anti-fungal properties. But straight away, the uh, candy delta tail has made a nice little bubble nest here. So he's pretty much raring to go, but um, we'll look out for some stripes on the female before we get too excited. But uh, what an absolute stunner and uh, hopefully we can get some more out of this guy because he is absolutely mind-blowing. Super happy with how these guys arrived safe and sound and um, yeah I couldn't be couldn't be happier definitely they were as the photo described and um, there's not much else you can really ask for when you get a better like this um, sent to you. She's also definitely a little cutie this uh, Nemo half moon female and um, yeah, I reckon she's got a bit of feistiness about her, this little, this little girl. So I just fed them some live black worms. So she's probably pretty happy right about now. And these guys here are the giants. So that one there is called a giant koi delta tail. It looks like he has sort of eaten his own fins during transport, which does happen occasionally. And in here is the giant red koi half moon female. So that's the true uh, labeling of these fish, I guess. And uh, yeah, apologies for mixing that up during the unboxing. No matter what they're named, I do still think they are absolutely stunning fish once again. And uh, yeah, they're sort of in here separated again. I'm conditioning them well with live uh, black worms, uh, freeze dried black worms and some frozen blood worms as well. So. Um, they're going to get nice and fat and happy. And there's also some uh, blue really shrimp in here as well. And in here we have the better chinoides, but sadly they are super, super elusive. Usually they've been hanging out back there under the sponge filter with the uh, Colombian zebra plecos back there. But uh, yeah, they just don't want to come on camera for me. I think that's the little uh, girl here underneath this leaf but that's pretty much as good of a view as you're gonna get of these guys just for a little while. These guys are a little bit smaller, so I'm giving them some uh, live baby brine shrimp, uh, some microworms as well, but uh, also live blackworms as well. So um, they should be nice and chunky soon as well. Uh, really, once again, blown away by the generosity of Seven Fishes to include these guys for me here today. And yeah, I'll 
take good care of him, don't worry about that. And uh, yeah, thanks again, I'm absolutely stoked. Spotted the male being a bit sneaky here. What happened is I dropped some live blackworms at the front hoping it would coax them out. And it looks like they're sort of sitting there just waiting for me to not pay attention and then they'll probably go on the hunt, so. <laughs> So there you go guys, that was my unboxing from 7fishes.com. Really excited to get those three pairs of betters. Uh, they all came in happy, healthy, and uh, better than expected. So um, if you want to see updates on whether I'm successful breeding these guys or future in-depth care guides, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Other than that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.